Hello everyone, I'm the Crimson DM, and welcome back to Crimson Plays Underrail. Now, where we last left off, I was busy trying to level up, which I did. I finally leveled up, and I feel very good about that. So now, we're going to try and do that mission again. See, the problem with that mission is, I'm not a side character, so I can't fight a doppelganger. I kind of wish I hadn't looked up how to fight one, because when I found out the answer of what doppelgangers are, I was a little disappointed that I didn't find that out in person. But I'll accept that and continue moving forward. I have 181 of 181 hit points. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah, I never looked up how I was supposed to do that. Okay, now let's see if this will actually work. I mean, if this doesn't work, I can... I can struggle and try to level up again, but that would be a lot of work, and I don't think it's exa exactly going to happen. See, with Oddities Mode, which is something I really like... Uh, oh, crap. I'm here for the last cargo. Continue. Forget your story, just take me there. I've already heard the story. It's not good stuff. So, here's the big thing about this place. Um, that I gotta keep in mind for myself, at least. And it's that... Um, doppelgangers appear on this island. The longer you stand here, right? You guys saw me fight one and die. Uh, yeah, save here too. So, I increased my stealth a little bit, so that I can hopefully get away with not being caught as I stealth around the island a little bit longer. Now, I don't know what the heck strange feeling means. Got no idea. As far as I know, strange feeling is, uh made-up terminology. Okay, so I don't want to get into a fight. That's the number one thing I don't want to do is get into a fight. So I'm gonna have to try and see if I can stealth around the island without getting caught by the many, many different enemies that exist here. This place is just swarmed with enemies. It's crazy. So the good news is that I should be able to hide. Ah, crap. So I don't know what to do about the dose, okay? I can't, you can't fight a doppelganger with physical attacks. I'm not even going to try if I'm going to be caught by those guys. No point. Now, there is a trick to fighting them, and I don't want to reveal it until after I have, you know, done the thing. So... Let's see, what's down here? Is there actually any way to get to this other island where the dead man is? Oh, there is. Weird. What the crap? I mean, yeah, it's not like that this guy has anything truly useful, but I can't fight a doppelganger. I might actually have to look up a walkthrough specifically for how to do this part, because... Anything I've tried doesn't work. Um, and that seems hardly fair. You know? Alright, well... Uh, 
I might just have a doppelganger taking pot shots at me for a little bit. Why am I not moving very fast? Excuse me. I feel cheated. Granted, there's probably not much that can be done about me feeling cheated other than uncheating the situation. Now, this guy should be able to help, and he's really good at killing things. So, I shouldn't worry too much about these guys. But they're also not the thing I'm really currently worried about. I am very much worried about this guy. But... Oh, crap, Cackles. I'm gonna have to leave him to his own devices and hope that I don't just die. Wait a minute. Did he desummon? He desummoned. Okay. Well, I can work with that. I mean, I'm going to kind of have to work with that, but I can work with that. Ow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that he would de-summon if I got off the island proper. So I wonder... Does that give me a timetable to work with? Well, I'm not, I can't save there. Excuse me. Hello? I can work with this. Let's see. What? No! Crap! Cackles! Why? Why did I not move further? It's like I'm not interested in doing anything other than dying. I'm gonna have to loot those bodies in a sec, I guess. Uh, just get me over here. Thank you. I don't know if stealth will even do anything other than keeping me from getting killed by Psy Beetles. Seems to me like doppelgangers might just spawn. Yeah. You know, you are like the worst of people. Okay, so the doppelganger spawns. I'm gonna just guesstimate after every six of whatever those are. Yeah, I, I didn't think that there'd be anything good for me. So, because he's gonna spawn whenever he darn well feels like it, and I'm basically just gonna have to eat it up, um, I'm just gonna continue moving and hope that he despawns again. Please stop hitting me. Okay. Now I'm gonna save on the second one. And very quickly get into this cave, because I think this is where I need to go. Assuming, that is, that this works the way I think it do. Uh, more like, I hope it do. Whoa! What are those? <laughs> what are those? Three strange pillars rise from the pool. They are decorated with glowing symbols that you are unfamiliar with, and they seem to hum, though you are unsure whether they are actually whether they actually produce the sound or it's just in your head. Um
Can I not do anything to them? Am I just screwed? I mean, I seem to be mildly safer here for a moment at least. So we'll save again and we're gonna see if we can move. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I was expecting some sort of psychic mutant to be here because doppelgangers are supposed to be caused by casters, meaning someone cast the spell. Uh, that's a pillar. Strange magical pillar. Oh crap. No, bad. Well, if I don't die, right? Uh, that might be worse than dying. Well, at least there's stuff there, but pretty sure I just biffed it and I'm not going to survive this. Are those rocks breakable? I know some rocks are. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to survive this. Okay, let me reload this. I might have to do something incredibly annoying. The good news is that I think this area is safe. So I can actually come back in here after I get the cargo in order to be safe. Okay, don't get me in trouble. Well, I'm probably in trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Like, even if I could do that. I can't now. Great. So there's got to be a way for me to get through this and get out of it, you know? I'm sure there is. I just got to figure out how. With the... That probably wasn't how, but it's what I got what I got, I got, I got. Yay. Exactly what I wanted. You know? Like, you, you know that, that time when you get the feeling that all you wanted was to be shot in the butt by some cryostasis? Yeah, that's what. Let's see. Yep. Good. And he can take care of that guy. Fire fry! Uh, let me hold shift. So, I don't want to shoot that guy from here. But I don't mind shooting him from here. And then I'll move. Are you kidding me? I now have to run away from the doppelganger again? I mean, I will, but... That seems highly unfair. Especially considering he's probably just gonna get a free hit on me each time I move. Ah. Uh, and I can't even use that this turn. I seem to be a little bit safer around the pillar, although that might just be my imagination. Well, at least those two are dead, and with those two being dead, what it really means is I'm just going to wait here for another four seconds. There we go.
So at least those two are dead. And with those two dead, that means I can, one, loot their corpses, if they have any. So I might be able to get some potential items. But two, and this is the big important one, I'm going to be able to uh, get over here easier. I just got to get over here, get this item, take all. That guarantees me some experience points. Then I get back in here. And I can wait, and the strange feeling will go down. I don't know why it'll go down. I guess when you're really close to the pillar, the the psychic phenomenon can't happen. Phenomenomena, the necromnomicomenon, nomenomenon, nom. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh boy, I don't like to go back out there. But I will. I will go out there like a brave man. And I will face my doom. Face it, I say. Now, I'm going to be fast. Because, well, obvious reasons. Uh, that's not what I want. Go on. Just gonna jack everything on this guy's corpse. And trust me, I realize that I'm gonna have to deal with this again. And I'm gonna be kicked all the way back to there. This is like the most annoying thing in the universe. Stop kicking me. Jeez. I mean, at least I got plenty of healing items, which I'll have to buy more of, but... Come on, that's not very nice of you, dude. Oh, by the way, anyone who's stuck on this mission, I guess you might have uh, just found out how to do this. Yep. It's a little bit of luck, but a little bit of strategy. I, I figured out how to break the game in the right way, because I, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to figure it out that way. Oh. I I need to reload, because I didn't wait. Or maybe I broke the game in a way that's not acceptable. It might be that one. Might be that one. So, come on. We just need to get over here. There is literally nothing that could be over here that's worth anything other than... I found the cargo, let's go. Oh boy. I... Can't believe I was able to do that. I also think I just found out how to sprint. Um, outside of combat, anyways. About the last cargo. Head and you look fine in it? Yeah, right here. Excellent. You just saved me some money, kid. And in turn, as promised, I'll save you some. Okay, now, here's what you need to do. First, take this key. Go to the slums and look for the, s the shack with an air vent right next to the door. It's in the southwest part of the slums. The key will unlock the door. Inside, you're going to find a trap door that will lead you to the wormhole. And the wormhole will lead you into, a, into Depot A. And when you're done with, the, with your business, boy, come see me again. I might have some more work for you. Cool. And I just got possible more jo uh, quests in the future. Sure, he's a scummy, scumbag crime lord, but you know what? You always got to start out somewhere. Yeah, I think Jack, too. Jack 2 started working for that fat guy. You know the one. Okay, so I need to find health items. Kimi, show me what you got. Wow, not what I need.
Show me what you got. Uh, still not what I need. Show me what you got. Better supply, but not what I need. Jeez. Also, I should take a look at my armors. Um, which one of these is armor? Why are weapons and armor shared by the same spot? I'll never know. So, the armor I'm currently wearing, it's 3-2. Uh, persuasion decreased by 3, that's fine. That's slightly better, and this is the same thing, just not as cool sounding, and no stealth bonus. Okay. Well, that royally blows. I need more armor, like good armor. And I'm not sure how to get good armor. I probably don't get to have good armor yet. That's fine. I'll accept that. But I got past the doppelganger mission. Yay! Uh, southeast. Which will be this section? That's still red. So I... Wait. Oh, cool. I mean, I desperately need more health items, but... <sighs> I don't know how to buy more health items. Whom? Uh, I'll go over here. Okay. Logical errors. I will be right the back. You know, I just realized if I don't get that part, I'm probably going to be in trouble now. True, but... Hey. It's money spent... It, it's expenses spent in me trying to accomplish the mission, right? Man, the music just shifted and got all dark and creepy. And you know what that means. That means it's the end of the episode. And if you guys liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And, as always, thanks for watching. Adios.